there are just many obstacles in this piece, especially in this movement, um, that one needs to be aware of. Um, some of them are just logistic with a conductor, like the last scale, yeah. and some of them are just audible, like be aware that some things will not be heard and the only way to be aware of it is if somebody that did it many times tells you or simply by doing it, by just playing it with orchestra. So the first thing, when you play the chords, uh, there is, William, there's always melody with chord. I, I hear this. You, you don't, because you play, you don't play it beautifully. Sorry. change your musical mind it's like you are very heroic it's like you know this beginning of the piece when you hear the it's really like a king coming back home from a war with the army and the people of the town you know in the walls they they hear the horses just coming and you hear the and when you enter is i always think about it. it's like the king goes on the balcony in front of all the people with the head of the king of the other nation. You know, that it used to be like this. Like, we won! <laughs> you know, so you're very... You're, it's such a heroic entrance. However, there's also emotion. The king is also warm and maybe he lost a lot of people or maybe he's now looking at his wife that missed him at home. So when you do... Change your mind. It's like, but I'm so sorry for all the, the women that lost their husbands. You know, so you have to, on, on the C sharp, on the middle of it, change your character to a very lyrical one. Can you try? No, la da di da di da la di clara. That's a typical appoggiatura. I see. Yeah, and don't rush the short notes. Ta 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 ta. You do. It's like you're so happy they died. <laughs> Good. 
So, same thing. I mean, you don't have to do all of them the same, but the emphasis shouldn't go to the weak, no. La di, la di, and then the A. That one is really important. And then you, go, you must give a sign, because the orchestra is playing triplets, and you play eighth notes. You're rushing them. So really you're gonna hear cha 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 so like in many occasions in recordings you just don't hear it. Yeah. Or you hear it, but it's not together. Uh -huh. But you being aware of it, meaning that you respect Dvořák's wish, I think, to my uh, two cents, um, not to rush them, because you have three against two. So can you try from the Clara? La da di da di da Clara. Sorry, William, William, sorry to stop you, but... La da di da di wa di wa la da di da di da da da. Can you make three phrases? La di do di do di, ti da lo di do di do di, ti da lo di da di do di do. Yeah. So really identify the phrase. Don't just go through a proper etude. And you can do that when you get to the G natural with a with, with vibrato. So. So really make a phrase, clean, clean cut. Ah, good, that, that was beautiful. Now the next section, it's not just about you. It actually, the phrase is, in the beginning, you play ta di da da but the phrase is ta da ta da and then long ta di da 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 So you do this, <laughs> but it's ta da ta da and then long ti Again, you do you go to the high note, but the impulse is and then Can you try to obey that in your playing? Yeah, yeah, that was beautiful, but where is your worth on the You don't vibrate at all, that, that section. But that was beautiful. Now, as a great artist such as you are, why do you do the same slide? Don't do the same. Maybe do something different. sure that you know you're gonna show off worms on D string so uh, if you start it here what is gonna happen here I mean it's, just, it's three times yes yeah, so. now and 
the phrase starts again. One. So you have again three times. Think bigger, bigger picture. It's like zoom out a little bit from the music. You play so well. Zoom out so instead of seeing just a house or even a street, you see a whole section. <laughs> yeah, you just see in the in Google Maps, you see like a whole section of the piece. Which is from here. It's from here to here. Yeah, so you just go away a little bit. Um, there's a certain level of playing where that's what you want to see because you want a big picture. So I feel that it's a little bit in, in the details. Anyway, the, the pits afterwards. Boom! Pack on the B. Make sure you're aware of it. Not the la ba da 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 la la di da di la da la. Okay, try from the mi fa. No, 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 no. We have da di. No, um pa da, um pa da. I see. So it's actually okay. Yeah, the downbeat, the downbeat is important. It's heavy, so heavy tono, heavy. Now long Same here, heavy. Yeah, so always the first two impulses in this section is heavy light. Heavy, the downbeat, which you don't play, but the music plays it. Uh -huh. Okay, so if it's. Yeah, William, William. William, good, excellent. This section. The violins, like 14 of them, if you're lucky, if you have good orchestra, or 12, they're joining you here. They're joining with a melodic line. So not only that you need to know it, you need to look at them, but you also need to enjoy the fact that somebody's going to play melody there, so you cannot rush. Okay. Yeah, so... Be aware because they will love you. They they're gonna play with you. I see. Such a beautiful moment if you're aware of it. Now again, 99%. No, just train. Uh -huh. Going forward, it's not even together, but it could be, and it could sound terrific. So start from here. Uh by imagining that you're eliminating the conductor here. It's very hard for them to bring in the orchestra. Yeah. But you have to bear in mind that when you play the this stuff, there's a melody in the back. And the melody is ta di ta di ta di ta da. You have to be with them. You can't just mumble through it. Yeah, so when you go um, uh, don't rush. Now, make this an upbeat. I do a little bit of accent because ta ta di, ta di, ta di, ta di. And really fast. There are people that are playing cha cha ta da ta da ta da ta da and then when you're alone you can take a little 
time. But you must have it in your ear. Ta-da. Yeah, that's why I always say in Dvozhak, when you play with piano, ask your pianist not to listen to you and to play fortississimo all the time. So if they play there and just... Ta -da, ta no. Ta-dam. 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 Ta because they don't hear you in the back. And because you're not Yo-Yo Ma, and I'm not Yo-Yo Ma, the conductor is not going to listen to you. Yeah. They're going to do cha-cha, cha-cha, and you're like one bar ahead. E, da, da, you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Not together, boom, finish. So if you show the conductor, I'm serious about it, in the rehearsal, if you show... <laughs> them and you do these accents and you even smile that you recognize that he has a melody he loves you or she that's it you're done now you can take care of your part so I just want to make sure that you're aware of it go into it please You do, and then you're here. Yeah, so that really speak with your bow a little bit, just a little more, but it's really good. Now, when you get to the trills, so the A is not like the C sharp. Yeah, that's the arrival. So when you get there, so I can take time, but then I give it back. Yeah, you have personality, so put a little bit into it rather than yeah. a moment I don't think you should rush through it there are many ways to do it and just that you know when you do competitions and I'm sure you will get to the final and there'll be three people playing Dvozhak you have one rehearsal and the conductor will need to this is a this is a real um, obstacle to, to put the orchestra in so many of them just say you know just play whatever you want I'm guessing I just sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, what I do, and you can listen, you can hear Starker do this, this, do this. There are many versions of how to take care of it. Yeah. Um, what I find most successful for me is, first of all, here, I need a little time. I, if I do, it, it's just, there's nothing. Yeah. So I need a little bit time. So after the A, I tell the conductor, when I get to the A, that's your upbeat. Yeah? Tover. Yum, ba -bum, bing, ba -bum. So, ba -bum, bing, ba -bum. yeah, that for me work. That doesn't mean you should do it, but just be aware that doing it is that he will have or she they'll have to guess yeah. somehow. And I'm not sure that the excitement that you want to get people will hear it. But if you do and then you mumble and then you play. It's much more impressive than just mumbling. Yeah. And to be honest, it's going to be cello on a big hall and a big scale from G string will kind of be mumbling. 
So, you know, so I think it's better. Can you just try? So you go on an up bow to the A and then ba bum ping ba bum. Yes! Bravo! Much better. Go on. section um, so your entrance after the big that it goes from the instrument low, from high to low titing ta pam titing ta ta pom pom pa pam piping pa and then you're like uh, I don't think it fits uh, before it was different it was different because it was just you you did a pa 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 here ta ta Ta-da! Titi! Ta-da! Pa-bim! Pa-bam! 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 I mean, I would even stick in a, a slide or something to make it feel, wow, this is, this is very different than first time. And it is. Yeah, and then when you go down, you're going into the only cadenza, the only cadenza, so vibrate. moment now do you know the story of this piece um i just know the story of the coda the section of the coda but w what is the story of the coda like he's it's like a farewell to the sister of his wife is it and yeah his sister-in-law yeah his sister-in-law who he but, but well, why why a farewell i think because she had just passed away and did he have any feelings toward her yeah, I mean, I think he ended up marrying um, no, his wife, but he always loved the sister. Yeah, and she, the sister was a singer, and he wrote some songs for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, the theme of the song is a... <laughs> but um, what you need to know is that he actually went back home from New York. He was in New York when he wrote it. And he went back home to, because he got a letter that she's sick and he went to visit her, but he didn't make it. Okay. 
So he actually wrote a, a different ending to this piece, very beautiful, happy ending, because he decided to go and to tell her that he loves her. Um, but after he realized that she died, um, he changed, he turned apart, apart the ending and changed it to what we have, which is beautiful, but very, very, very sad. Yeah. Um, it's important to know it because this transition into this moment, <laughs> That's a, a, a Czech folk song, and it's it's full of agitation, excitement. It's like I always feel, you know, the feeling when you go for a walk or something, and then you really need to go to the bathroom, and there's no bathroom. But then once there's a bathroom, you're like like God, and you rush like you're crazy. Yeah. So if he's on the boat to go back home to Prague, and this for me is the moment that he sees. The, the land, and he's like, that's it, you know. And the big duet with Josephine, that's her name, Josephine. The big duet is here. That's Josephine. He's like, I'm coming, baby, I'm coming, and I am not going to wait anymore. I, I, I love you. I, I, screw everything. I love you. And, and he's a... the bathroom you are rushed running 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 it's so but then comes the end that he changed it's like no and she died and then I my interpretation he commits suicide with her but um, that moment where you are is transitioning into seeing the land so it's sort of almost giving up I mean, I'm, I have kids, I have like eight kids. Maybe I should just go back to New York. But then, but I love. So when you play, you did it beautifully, but I wouldn't play so happy, like, sure you know just, just almost giving up and then this wave of emotion it's like oh my god I, you see the land and it's now it's happening so then when you come in there's so much not wanting to wait anymore that kind of feeling, agitation, and maybe even vibrato, faster. But let's go back to the beginning of the cadenza where you are doubting. I want to feel that you are really searching if you did the right thing by, by making this decision. Play from here. <laughs> Yeah, but William, William, sorry, it's beautiful, but the two notes that need vibrato, you don't vibrate. The me, and then the D flat. Use your second finger and really warm it up. Do from the E. Can you, can you put your thumb inside on the B flat? Go inside, so so it becomes warmer. Yes. Oh yeah. Go on. Yeah. Good. We have be aware on those two notes. Media, so E sharp, F sharp. The trombones are playing two chords with you. 
So whatever you do before. <laughs> and follow or lead which is better but be aware that's for sure do from the B flat you have
on the E. Ti da da N da. And then please reach, take the bow on the G. And the C. It has to be clear. You do. And that's not going to cut through in a hole. Okay, so... Right from the D, from the D. time two times you did a you took time twice and um, you could also I, I love how you take time in the beginning but then from a conductor point of view I would go with an upbeat into the tempo so uh, It's very clear like this for the orchestra. Otherwise, he has to take time twice. And then in, in two phrases, again, you're going to take time. So it's very complicated, uh, all the corner changes here with the orchestra. Just try the other option, you make your decision. So. Yeah, so just the last four notes. The, the four, last four notes and the conductor knows it, you tell them. In tempo of the next section. You can do whatever you want. And then dance, dance. I mean, it's a real dance. It's a very festive moment because you're now coming home and you're going to tell her just a thing. I love you. I love you. I came all this way. Don't die. I love you. Let's get married. Let's finish with it. You're like, hey. Yeah, it's really happy. But then. It's turning, turning a corner, then you see her for the first time. It's in your dream, yeah? You're so happy, it's going to change. Okay? So those are some um, um, maybe important details, but I love how you're producing more sound today. Just purely as a cellist. That's really much better, much, much better. Great. So let's let's finish the, the movement. You have the rest of it, yeah? Yes, I do. So let's start here, next lesson. And, and finish the movement, okay? Okay, sounds good. Good, great. Thank you. Good job.